Hi, Pisces. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a love reading for December 2024. This is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody new. We're going to ask Spirit what is going on around you in love, what is coming your way, any messages Spirit has for you today. I will be pulling some initials and numbers. I will be pulling some charms today as well. So we'll be reading with those as well. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Let's see what the messages are for December. I am recording this the week of Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, but heading into December, here we are. Crazy. This year went by so fast. All right, let's see. Spirit, Pisces, what is it that you have for us? What is it that you want us to hear? I am listening for you now. I have a foundation. Well, that is one of the most important things. As we get to know each other, we build that foundation of trust. We build that foundation of, I have a sense of history about you. I know about you. I've learned about your family. I know what you think, what you like, what you eat. So we start to you know, build that foundation of trust and we want it to be a strong foundation. We want it to last. We don't want it to crumble. I have an investment. It's an investment in time. It's an investment in money in, in some instances. Um, time is money in, in some instances. So, But I'm willing to invest in you. I'm, maybe we buy a home together. Maybe that's the foundation. Maybe we want to build a home, buy a home and gut it and rebuild it. So there is this feeling of uh, combining resources. Also, we could be talking about uh, sharing spaces or we could be living together already. But it is investing in our future. So I do feel like we are getting to a stage where we're very committed, where we want to be very committed to each other. I have stagnation. Time stands still. That is a feeling of, I, I don't like being in limbo. So for those of you that want to know where you're headed, you need to be with somebody who has the same vision, Spirit just said, that you're not going to wait around for just anybody. You're not going to just wait indefinitely for somebody to decide what they want for their future, okay? And this is affecting your future. So I do feel like we're always in motion, but if you find yourself in a situation where somebody's keeping you in limbo, they're avoiding a conversation about future plans. Where will we be? Are we going to take this to the next level? I can almost guarantee you that if you feel like you're pulling teeth, you better really think about that person because the person who you're supposed to be with, you should be at the same stages and almost at the same pace. There might be a little bit of a difference, but if somebody is over here saying, I have no idea what I want, and somebody is over here saying, I want to be settled down, I want to build a home, I want to have a family, then we are in two different places. And that's something that you really need to think about. So if you feel like you're stuck, you know, I don't agree with the word stuck because I feel like we're always moving. And even if we're not moving, that that is that is a answer in a sense that this person is not moving things along. Okay. So you have to look at it as why is it a standstill? Why are, why is it taking so long for this person to decide whether they want to be with me or not? That's only, you know, that's something that you have to ask. I have a new door of opportunity. So our new doors opening is spirit saying you deserve more. You deserve somebody that that does want to be with you, that wants to um, that wants to create a, um, a a new beginning, a new possibility for your future. So spirit may be out putting like a little question mark um, in front of you right now and saying where you are at a standstill, if you're at a standstill and it's not working, 
Is this really where you want to be? Or are you willing to see what that new opportunity and that new possibility is for you? So I, I feel like some of you may be on the fence with, I need to move on. I have to move on because this person is avoiding the conversation. This poor person doesn't ever make me feel like I have a future with them. If you don't feel like you have a future with somebody, then don't waste your time. Because all we have is time. I have traveling the distance. A little bit of it. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. Maybe there's too much distance between us. Maybe we just can't have a realistic relationship. We don't see each other. So long distance relationships are really, really difficult. They may, might, not be, might not be what spirit has for you. I have desire. I desire you. I, I like that. I feel this sense of I want to feel desired. I want somebody to want me. I want somebody to make me feel special and that I'm the only one. And you do deserve to be the only one. I have family traditions. I want somebody to create my own traditions with. I want to do things with this person. I want to put up a Christmas tree with them. I want to have Thanksgiving dinner with them. I want to go Christmas shopping and wrap Christmas presents. You know, like what traditions are important to you? I always do make, make a ton of cookies and do a cookie swap. I'd love this person to help me with that. You know, whatever it is that that you love to do. I feel overwhelmed. Don't, don't be overwhelmed. You know, that's something that you don't have control over. You don't have control over, um, they're saying like time and space. It, it was almost a feeling of, if you're not where you want to be, you don't even have control over that. You can make some changes and you can envision where you want to be and you can work towards it. But you're not going to wake up tomorrow and be, you know, in a totally different um, life. It takes time. It takes patience. But if you're not happy where you are, don't be overwhelmed by it. Start to put together a plan. Start to make some decisions for yourself. Take some action. I'm not, I don't want to stay where I am because this isn't working. So I know there's got to be something better for me. There's got to be something else because this can't possibly be all there is. So sometimes we do make those decisions just based on, I'm not where I want to be. And you're allowed to do that. You're always allowed to make choices for your own happiness, whatever they are. And um, sometimes they're really hard. They're really hard decisions to make, depending on your situations. I have strength. God's going to give you strength. I have a wheel of fortune. Your luck is about to change. And, and it's. I love this card because of the, the post. It's, it's always a feeling of this way or that way, but I just got this feeling of you're headed in the right direction. Like you will pick the path that you're supposed to be on. You will pick the right direction. So don't ever question, am I going to make the right decision? You will just naturally or instinctually know which path you're supposed to go on because the answers will come to you. You'll be guided there, Spirit just said. So don't worry about what am I supposed to do and what am you know, am I going to make the wrong decision? Um, you won't. You will be, it, it's in you. The answer is in you. You just, if you're not ready to make the decision, don't make the decision uh, to make a change. But that path is there that wheel of fortune is is there on that path so we want that i have an eight of wands now you may may make a change in your life very quickly you may have somebody come into your life that completely changes your life and the decision is made for you spirit just said you may fall in love with somebody you may meet somebody and it's it's almost like the decision is made for you because it's right there it's right in front of you it's like there's no decision here. There's, you know, pick door A or pick door B. And one is I'm not moving forward. And two is filled with possibilities for my future. So um, I think you're going to have a choice. I really do. I, I think that 
<laughs> two of cups. Um, I have a feeling spirit's going to put the right one in front of you. It's almost this feeling of you just haven't met the right one. And maybe you've been struggling with trying to make it work with somebody. It's nice. It's convenient. It's better than nothing. But it's not the passion or the kind of love that you hear about. It's not the the love that you feel like you want in your life. Like you really want to be in love with somebody. So that two of cups is somebody that's very compatible to you. It's somebody that you hit off um, immediately with emotionally. You could have a lot in common spirit, just said. You share the same views. You have the same values. Um, you have these deep conversations is how they just said it. So it tells me that it's somebody that you are very intellectually connected to, which I think is very important, especially uh, no offense to my older people, but as we get older, you know, I want the person I can sit and talk to for hours, you know, I mean, physical is great, but you know, it's, I'm getting older. It's not my, not what I'm looking forward to every day. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, I'd rather have a cup of coffee with my husband and talk about our day or the kids, or right now we, all we talk about is our kittens, you know? So it's, um, I want the intellectual energy. I want the person I relate to, that we have something in common, that we, um, we can discuss things on any level. So there's a very strong intellectual connection, I feel, um, that you are experiencing with this person. And that could be really, really important to you, that this person listens. They just said uh, this person is very caring and understanding. Beautiful. I have a judgment. You're going to make the right choices for you. You are. You may second guess, they said, how you make a decision that you may say to yourself, I'm just afraid of making the wrong decision, or I have a tendency to pick the wrong people. But you do have a good sense of judgment. You do know what's best for you. Um, and you have to trust that. You have to trust that you know yourself better than anybody, and you know what you're is going to be best for your future self as well. And nobody else can make those decisions. But you, if you feel like you made the wrong decision, you change, you know, you change course, you re-steer the boat um, in a different direction. But there really isn't any right or wrong. It's just all part of your own journey. But you will make the right choices. They're saying, I have a knight of cups. You have the you have a romance. If you are not in a romantic connection right now and you are struggling in some way, you have a choice that a door is going to be opening to a new romance. And you're going to have to decide that I'm going to have to end something to start a new beginning with somebody else. You might have already done that. You might have already closed that door and you are ready for this. Or you could be on the fence with, I'm not ready to leave that connection. And I want to know that there's going to be somebody else because I don't want to be alone. But you're not going to know that until you take the risk, until you are confident that you're not happy. And if you're not happy, then you owe it to yourself to take the risk of seeing what else is out there. But this is a, this is a romantic connection. This is uh, it, it's very heartfelt to me. It's, it's a, I, I want to say I feel you in my soul energy. Um, I, maybe I've never been in love like this before. Uh, maybe I've never fallen so deeply emotionally with somebody before. And, that could be taking you by surprise, like nobody's been, ever been this good to you or nobody's ever done these very romantic things with you. And it just kind of takes your breath away. And it's it's truly a falling in love feeling to me. So I, I want that for you. I, I want you to know that there's this, um, I don't know how to describe it, you know, pure romantic. Um, is there such a thing? Pure romantic feelings, romantic feelings. Um, 
genuine, you know, in genuine feelings, not somebody who's just love bombing you, not somebody who is trying to seduce you and say the right thing. Um, somebody who truly is falling for you. I have a death card. We're going to have to end something to open up that new door. We are. It's, it's unfortunate, but we are, my, some of you, not all of you, maybe not with the right person. And if you're starting to fall in love with somebody else or you're in love with somebody, then you made the right choice and you're where you're supposed to be. So don't worry about that. I'm not saying you're going to go out and end that relationship. It's for somebody who just is kind of going through the motions and it's better than nothing. It's it could be a friends with benefits that really isn't helping you because it's preventing you from finding somebody that really should be in your life. So you want to be careful with those kinds of connections as, as well. Um, let's get some initials. OK, so don't worry if you don't see your person's initials. Uh, first initials, last initials. This, these are just clues. It's a general reading for everybody. So if you see your person's initials, great. You know, comment. Let me know. But don't worry if you don't see it. If this reading is still for you. Okay. This, there's all kinds of messages for everybody. But for those of you that watch me all the time, you know that I like to do different things, the charms and the letters and kind of keeps me entertained as well. <laughs> I'm just like, I have got this whole room full of stuff. Like, all, you know, people come into my reading room and they're like, uh, what is this? You know, there's like 400 tarot decks and all these toys and um, fun stuff. So, but it's my world and nobody else's. So it doesn't matter what I have in here, right? I love it. All right, let's see what they have for tarot tiles. All right, so I have moving forward. I, I have this chariot. Don't give up. It, it's very strong, that chariot. It, it's a feeling of I deserve more. I want more. And I'm not going to give up on myself is how it's coming into me. And even the person who's coming towards you, they're showing me that they're not going to give up on this connection, that once they decide they want to be in this relationship, that they are going to put in the effort and it's be like full speed ahead. So we'll do it that way too. I have an emperor. This person knows what they want. Okay, strong energy. And then I have a wheel of fortune. So a little bit of what's on that other side of the door. And are we choosing door A or choosing door B? Let's see what the letters. I got a lot of letters and I have some numbers. So let me let me just grab these so that I can lay them down one at a time. Okay, I have an M, S, V, M, the J, D, an X. Oh, I have another J, so I'll put these two together. I have a W today. I have an O. I think this is a zero. I have a couple zeros. So I'm going to use these as numbers. I think that's the O. It's more oval. And I have a P. No, I have an R. A G, another S, and another J. Okay, so J, J got a lot today. <laughs> uh, these are all numbers, so I'm going to do this. I have 40. I have... 37. I, I feel like these these are like an age difference, but it's only like an age difference of a few years. So I feel like it's an age difference of like three years. I have an uh, another S. I found another S. So S is important. S and J. I have a let's see. 
I have a 56. 56. 58. There's the A again, like an age difference. I, I feel that way. And I have the number 18. So that could have meaning, but it could be somebody's birth date also. All right, let's see. So here is your letters and your little mini tiles. And let's see what else spirit has for you today. All right. So those are our initials. Spirit, please share with me. Any messages? What do you have for my Pisces today? What do you want us to know? I have rest. <laughs> we all need rest. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. Don't overthink it. Don't make some changes until you're ready. Let your inner voice guide you. They're always big decisions, you know, ending something, starting something. If you're not ready, you're not ready. So rest your mind. Don't worry about it. You know, it's got to be the right time at the right place for both of you. And sometimes we just overthink, like, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And it really isn't a good place to be. So maybe they're just saying just rest and it will come to you. I have a gift. Grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it. Feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is your birthright. So grace absolutely is a gift. Beautiful. And let's get one more of these. Trust. Trust. The more we follow our intuition, the more we'll find that the right doors open to assist us in fulfilling our life's purpose. Is there a new door opening? I really feel like that is the question today for you, that they are asking you, you know, is there um, do you want there to be? Do you want there to be a new door opening? Is that something that you're asking spirit for? So some of you are, yeah, <laughs> I want the new door to open. I definitely want door number two and I'm just waiting for it to open. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know? What is it that you want me to hear? I have a seven of cups, choices. Lots of choices being put in front of you. I have a fool, a new journey. Take a risk, leap of faith. Don't be afraid. I have a five of wands. That feels like an inner battle. That just feels like, am I doing the right thing? Am I, I don't know what I should do. And those are just kind of, you know, spinning in our head with, I just don't have the answer. So You've got to take your time to figure out what it is that you really need. I have a page of swords. Ask a lot of questions. Somebody new coming into your life, ask a lot of questions. Don't just jump right in. Don't just agree to be exclusive with somebody um, if you don't have the answers about this person. You know, spend some time, get to know them, date them. That's why it's called dating. Um, and then decide whether you're going to spend more time with them and eliminate the options, you know, that you're going to open yourself, you know, not open yourself up to being available for anybody else. Because you may find in a short period of time that that's not somebody you really wanted to be with. So you choose wisely. I have a king of wands. Beautiful. I have a page of cups. So here comes the energy of I <laughs> eight of cups. I'm I'm going to walk away from something that doesn't serve me. I'm going to walk away from emotions that aren't fulfilling to me. I'm going to find something else. I'm, and I feel like I want to say it's OK. I, I just feel like um, you need to give yourself permission to know that you can find something else. You can find something um, that you desire, or you can at least be available to um, what spirit has for you. If you are preventing yourself from being available, 
then you're risking, risking um, losing out on something really exciting because I feel like this is somebody that is possibly somebody that's coming into your life that from the moment you meet them, there's something about them. And I feel the same, I feel the same way about you that I had feelings for you immediately. I was attracted to you. Maybe I had butterflies. Maybe I just, I heard it in your voice. I saw it in your motion. I saw it. They just said, I saw, um, I saw it in your eyes. Like I saw my, almost my reflection in your eyes, or I saw myself in you. So there was almost this feeling of an instant um, whether we called it love at first sight or not, it was almost a feeling to me of, I just saw something so special in you. Um, the moment I met you and the moment I saw you that I, you know, I knew. So there, there is that time that happens. There is that I will never forget the moment I met you, I'll never forget where I was, what I was wearing, who was in the room, um, you know, especially if it's very, it's kind of a neat story. But um, there's always that, you know, this is where we met for the first time. And we remember, a lot of us remember the date. A lot of us will remember, you know, when our first date was. And some of us will keep celebrating that year after year. That was this is our date of our first anniversary, you know? Um, so our first date, something like that. Let's get some charms. Let's get some charms. So we're going to do a scoop of charms with my magic scoop. And we're going to just see what spirit has for you today. And this has a little bit of everything. It has letters. It has, it has signs. It has all kinds. I'm just going to read them intuitively, see what, what I feel. I have the letter F. Let me see if I have any other letters. I like to do the letters first. I have the number 31. It would be an age. I have, this is a sign. This is a cancer. Could be a cancer. Here's a letter T. Okay. And... Let me see what I'm feeling. What's this guy? Okay, this is a book. Um, they just said the a book of love. Remember, I remember that that was an old song, wasn't it? A book of love. Um, but we're starting a journey, and we could be just starting writing our own chapters and writing our own story. But it was a book of love. I love that. And I have, I do have faith, hope, I have a Christian cross. So one of us, I feel like our families, um, I don't know whether we're practicing, um, you know, Catholics or Christians, but it, I feel like members of our family or our grandparents were very, um, very Catholic or very Christian. Um, so maybe we have some of that we brought up, brought up with some of that. Um, that could be what we believe in. I have this big smile like a Cheshire cat that says, we are mad. <laughs> we are mad. Um, but like almost a big child, uh, a big grin. So that is coming into me as somebody who might have some sarcasm. They may be very sarcastic. They may have... Um, I'm going to say sarcastic. I'm going to say that's probably the best way to describe it, that, you know, they're telling a joke, but they're in a very sarcastic way. And they're like, I'm just kidding, you know, but um, I, I obviously they do it in a nice way. Maybe it's fun. Maybe it's it's interesting to you. All right. Let's see. I have two of those. Maybe you guys um, are very sarcastic to each other. Maybe you're very sarcastic to each other. You know, there's a sense of teasing. There's a sense of I was just kidding. You know, I gotcha. Um, something like that. So maybe you guys are very playful. What is this? A little unicorn. All right. I'm going to put this unicorn in this pink flower together because I feel like it's a little girl 
I feel like it's somebody who could have a little girl, could have a granddaughter, um, but it's very girly things like princess dresses and the, the bedroom could have um, a floral bed, big floral bedspread on it. Um, but I feel like somebody's got a little girl in their life and they're, you know, there's little girl, little girl things, like lots of little girl things. I don't know what the age is. The age is pretty young, like four, maybe four to seven. You know, it's, it's a pretty, it's like a little girl still. So maybe a grandchild. Let's see what I'm feeling. All right. So I have all these sea. I have a starfish, a dolphin, and I have um, a seashell. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about the shore that we love to go to the shore. We have a shore house. We have family members that had a shore house. We love to go to the beach. We could go to the beach on the weekends if we had a choice to travel to somewhere like a city versus traveling to. I want to lay on the beach somewhere warm, drinking um, pina coladas with umbrellas in them. I think that we would choose to be on a beach somewhere. I also like the whales because I feel like they're, or dolphins. I feel like we go um, on a, like a cruise or a boat trip that could be like a day trip where we go um, to look for the dolphins. We actually go out on a boat and, and we're trying to find the dolphins and we, we're, we're looking for the dolphins. And I feel like it's more of an excursion, something along those lines. So I do have hot weather. I do feel palm trees and sea breezes and walks in the sand. So I do feel a trip. I do feel a trip to somewhere, somewhere um, very warm. And I also feel like we collect shells and we're gonna take the shells home with us and we're gonna put them in a jar and we're gonna save them like a, a you know, a memory and write the dates. We're gonna write the dates on, on the shell. So that feels like they're saying honeymoon. A honeymoon. Okay. A honeymoon. If we were to go on a honeymoon, where would we go? Uh, maybe it's just a conversation. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's in the work. So maybe it's in the universe. Uh, so we're going on a honeymoon somewhere warm. Okay. I'll take that. I have a snowflake, so I always see snowflakes as unique. I always see one of a kind. This person sees you as you're the only one, something like that. I'm going to put that with this, these two little hearts. There's two little baby hearts, so I'm going to put those together. And then I have two, two cherries, okay, two cherries on a vine, and one is bigger than the other. The first thing that came into me is rubies. I feel like I want to say rubies because the color of the cherries are, are very ruby-like. Um, and that, so maybe this person gives you something that's, um, that's a ruby, you know, ruby, um, a ruby bracelet, they just said, a ruby ring. Um, and then I have those cherries. I'm just going to say it this way, a cherry on top, okay, um, an ice cream sundae with a cherry on top, <laughs> I want your cherry, maybe one of you likes the cherries and the other one doesn't like the cherries, um, but it felt like a cherry on top. It felt like you could be the cherry on top. Um, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Something along those lines. So I like all of these clues, but I like the honeymoon. <laughs> I like the honeymoon in paradise. I'm going to say it that way. A honeymoon in paradise. You know, sign me up. Is that is that what we want? Is that what we're looking for? Uh, claim it if that's what you want. Let me show you the charms a little closer in case you couldn't see them but those are the charms and you can see the little cherries and the little dolphin and even the little unicorn the little girl okay let's see what else they have for you let's see what they want spirit please share with me loving messages loving messages 
I have a party, the number 15. I'm going to take you to a holiday party. Do you want to go to my work party with me? A little bit of I want to show you off. A little bit of I'm ready to introduce you to people. I ready, I'm ready to let everybody know. This is my boyfriend. This is my girlfriend. This is my partner. Um, and I'm ready to show you off. And I'm not afraid to show you off. I have Mrs. Claus that came into me as handy. Somebody who is really good with, um, they're saying projects around the house. So it could be somebody who likes to do their own projects. They, I don't know, maybe they can gut a bathroom. Maybe they want to paint a room. Maybe they're putting down a new floor, um, putting in new countertops. Uh, but it came into me as somebody who is actually talented enough to do projects around the house. We pay everybody. We, we hire handymen. We don't do anything. We, we, um, no, we hire people who know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt to do a project by myself. We hire people, but this, this, these people are good. There's somebody, somebody in this connection is they could be a builder. They could be connected to the building trade. Um, and then they want to do things at home and, um, you guys could have a beautiful home because of it. And, uh, or one, one of you is like an interior designer. You have just a natural sense of pulling, pulling things together and, and you're always doing projects. Nice. I have oranges. You know how that came into me is the the peel is bitter, but the inside is sweet. So there could be something about this person that they don't let everybody in. They put up a, a little bit of a facade of toughness. I mean, an orange peel is kind of tough. It's kind of bitter. You kind of have to peel it away to, to get to that, to get to those slices but inside is this really sweet person and you get to see the best of them. So you could be one of the few or a handful of people that they've actually let in that you get to see the best qualities of them. You get to see the best side of them. And that could be really nice. And I have a holly. That's coming into me as traditional. It's just coming into me as 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 meeting traditions in a way. Um, a, it almost was like a walk in the woods. It was almost a, this is what we always do on Thanksgiving. This is what we always do for Christmas. Um, maybe we're explaining to our person how we were raised or what our family does versus what their family does. We could be talking about some of those things right now. Um, but it came into me more as like just the some kind of traditions. And maybe we're asking questions about that. You know, what do you, what, what's your family always cook? Like what is, what, what's a, what's a guarantee that's going to be on your dining room table, you know? Um, and maybe you guys have some favorites that you share with each other, but it came into me as these are things that I, you know, I grew up with. This is something that my family always does. I have my heart is open and ready an ace of cups. I am ready to receive this love. You are ready. I have a two of pentacles. Love is the, they say love is the last thing on my mind. Yeah, probably until I meet you. Probably until I meet you. It, it could be one of those people that I wasn't looking for this. I wasn't expecting this. And but you are really the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I can't say no to this. I, I it's right in front of me. So maybe they weren't out looking for it. Maybe it just maybe this just happens for both of you. I'd like to think it's a very organic uh, connection. And maybe that we just meet. It, it was a very, um, you know, the, the intellectual energy. We could start off as we just started talking. We talked, we're friends, we got to know each other. Maybe we work together. Maybe that's how we meet. But, um, but we're interested in each other. So I don't know if we were necessarily setting out like I'm going to be dating you and I'm going to be 
falling in love with you. So maybe we meet under other circumstances and it turns into a romantic relationship. I have an eight of pentacles that, I mean, eight of pentacles is my work that that's my working hard. And it's saying developing an emotional bond. So for some of you, not all of you, you could have met somebody at work or through your career, or you have similar um, paths in that way, but that's maybe neither one of us was expecting this. I have a three of cups, a holly, holiday party. Maybe we're going to meet at a holiday party, a work party. So get uh, get out there. Get get all dressed up. Dress up and show up. Go, unless you work with like the same four people and there's no way that you're going to be dating any of them. Um, but if you work for like a big company and they happen to have a big holiday party and there's people there that you definitely don't know from other departments, um, maybe it's worth showing up if you're single. I can't think straight around you. You're making my head spin. I like that. I want to take a chance and risk it all, but I'm afraid. There's that love was not on my mind. I wasn't expecting this, but I'm happy it's here. I'm going to say it that way. I really do love you, and I want you in my life always. So we're going to fall in love, an unexpected love. You feed my soul in ways that no one else can. I really liked the emotional connection throughout this reading. I really felt the emotional bond. Not to say that you're not going to be physically attracted to each other, but I really liked the emotional bond. I, I really felt very um, intellectually connected to you, emotionally connected to you. We're going to do a few blessings since we're heading into Thanksgiving week here and, thank, and Christmas um, into the month of December, which is this is your December love reading. So whenever you found this, these are just a handful of blessings. Let's see what they have for you. I have a blessing for support. A blessing that I'm going to say the divine supports you, that your spirit guide supports you, that your lost loved ones in spirit, take care of you. Because I do feel like you have the support of family and friends. I, I, I feel like in, here on earth, you have support. So you could just be asking, you know, your, your last loved ones, like, help me in a situation. Um, I need you to continue watching over me. I need you to continue to guide me. So um, it could just be blessings on just keep giving me that support, you know, mom, dad, you know, um, you got somebody in a Grammy um, in, in spirit that you know is protecting you. I have a blessing on a home and I like the nest that I'm creating a nest. I had that all that activity around renovation or construction um, decorating. So I like the nest, creating a nest that I'm going to be really happy with, creating my own environment that I want to be in um, is a blessing. Beautiful. And let's get one more. And I have a blessing on your on, on your boundaries. So what is it that's important to you? Who are you letting into your life? What are you letting into your life? What will you allow around you? Or if it doesn't serve me, I don't want anything to do with it. So maybe you have set more boundaries for yourself recently. That could be something that you're working on is setting boundaries for yourself. But we're going to put these blessings and this message out into the universe now. I think that I, I don't even know whoever this is. What did they say? It was a honeymoon, a honeymoon in paradise. But I feel like overall, it is an unexpected um, connection. I, I feel like it's, I'm very organic. I really wasn't expecting this. But at the same time, I feel like it could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. So I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. Beautiful messages. And I want to thank you for being here. If you are new to my channel, thank you. Hit that like, subscribe. Thank you for everyone who is always here with me. And I appreciate your comments. Thank you. 
If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please uh, check out my website. I'll put the link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. In the meantime, have a great Thanksgiving, and I will see you again real soon in another Love Messages.